you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing very, very well. Let me know in the comments, as always, how you doing? Uh-oh. We're off on another solo adventure today. A little, well, we're going on like a solo, solo night away um, in the Kent countryside, somewhere I've never really been before. Um, I just had this vision of January for so long, of just taking my way, taking myself away for a couple of days to a nice cozy cabin, and um, I managed to find one on Airbnb. So I just thought, oh my God, January is coming to an end. Why don't we just go away for a night? Um, cook some nice food, watch some movies, chill out, maybe do a little bit of a pamper, relax, take in the country air, and just... <sighs> so yeah, come to Kent with me. It's gonna be so exciting. Um, this is the first time, like, I've done a solo trip, which isn't too far. So Kent is like an hour and 15 minutes, um, drive from mine. I just want a cozy little cabin before spring kicks in. And we can have like a little fireplace, I think, and just chill out. Oh, I've got my eye mask, need them, don't we? Um, what else do I need to pack? What else do I need to pack? Laptop, change of underwear. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, also, look at this. Just getting into the spring vibes. This is from ASOS. Um, so yeah, oh my God, let's go. Let's go on the road. It's gonna take us about an hour and 15 minutes. So let's go. I'm super excited. And also the host, Julie. Um, she seems really lovely. She was like, can I get you any wine or chocolate? And I was like, yeah, that'd be lovely. Pardon me, thank you. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. car now oh my god so i'm just going back to that time many years ago when i went to berlin on my own and i was thinking like how nerve well i wasn't nervous because i knew i had an itinerary i knew like that whole couple of days um that i was away was mapped out for me so i was i knew what i was doing but when i went to york i was so apprehensive and nervous about just like going out on my oh no what's happened there Oh my god, that makes me so sad. Like I just a guy lying on the ground with the ambulance people around him. I hope he's okay. Oh. Um, so yeah. Sorry, I've literally lost my control of thought. Yeah, so when I went to York, I was so nervous because I'd had I knew I'd have to like fend my for myself, like go out for dinner on my own, explore a new place, like join a bloody ghost talk, a uh, walk. Like now look at me, I'm just like, oh do you know what? I want a like a nice cozy little cabin trip away, let's just book it. Oh my god, I've come on leaps and bounds, guys. And honestly, like I said in my last video, uh, or previous video, I'm not sure when this is gonna go up, but um so many of you are like, oh my god, like even you like sort of help me take a day trip of my own to London or Brighton and I'm just like, oh look at us go, 2020, I'm so proud of us. This is saying an hour and 13 minutes. Julie, we love you Julie, we do, has basically said that it's a bit of an arse ache to get to, well she didn't say that, but a bit of a like a, it's like a hidden because it's literally in the, in the middle of nowhere. So that should be really fun for us because you know me, I have no sense of direction. I don't know where I'm going most of the time or what I'm doing. <laughs> Got a flat tire. What? Not a flat tire, but it's just told me to fill up my tire. I'm scared. Dad? God, I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> I'm scared. Right, wish me luck. I think that's done it. I think that's done it. That was scary. I don't know if that's done it or not. I don't even know like what my name is. Oh, he's got all people. He's got oh really God. The people. Bloody Alan Carr scaring the shit out of me. But the, the warning sign's gone off, so I think I have blown it up. Oh my God, there's just stuff like this you just not, do not learn in school. Like how to pump up a tire. I think we're all good. Let's go! Hello! I just fancy a little decaf coffee because I drink decaf now. Have I ever told you that I gave up coffee back in July and it's one of the best things I've ever done? <laughs> I'm so annoying. Can I get a decaf coconut uh, latte, please? What size? Uh, large piece. Large decaf coconut 
And also, could I please get a tuna melt panini? Hi, how are you? That's me. Are you paying back a card Oh, card please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, have a great day. You too, have a good day. Thank you. Bloody broke me window. Can I park in here? Okay, that's absolutely boiling. I'm just gonna let that cool down, honey. Is this it? I think this is it. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> I love it when YouTubers like set up the camera and they walk out and they walk back in. Oh my god guys, this is so cute. Oh my god, it is so peaceful. So this is like the little like area, seating area. Over here, dining area. Um, she left out the red wine and some chocolates for me. This is the kitchen. Oh my god. The kitchen is huge. Oh my god, look at the view. Yeah, this is it. This is the life. Like, imagine in the summer, little barbecue area. Um, she did say about like the slopey ceilings because obviously I'm 50 foot tall. And then through here, which I'm so surprised at, well not surprised, but the bedroom. The bed is so big. Oh my god. So comfy as well, oh my god, I'm so excited. And then, something I need to use right now. <laughs> the bathroom, where is the toilet? Oh, is there? Oh my God, it's so lovely. So guys, the fire is on. Oh my God, it, you can't get cozier than this. I cannot wait to sit down with a glass of red wine and have a little movie night. So I'm gonna put all of this away first, cause you know me, put all the food away. Um, so over in the kitchen. Oh my God, the sun, we've got the golden hour, that's it. We've got the salady thing, which I didn't realize because obviously um, I got the tuna metal, but I can still have that. We've got chicken, peppers, onions, and we've got the gluten-free fajita kit. Um, and there's some jegs, jegs? <laughs> some eggs here, got avocado, and the jams. And there's a full tank of toast over there, and just everything you could possibly need, guys. Oh my god. Absolutely blown away by every little detail in this Airbnb. It's so gorgeous. I can't wait for the sun to go down and for it to be proper dark and cosy. Take myself on a little walk. Oh my God, it's so peaceful. Every single time I come to the country, I'm like, do I just live here? Oh my God, this is just beautiful. <sighs> Gosh, guys, this is the place to be, I tell ya. Malden, Malden in Kent. <laughs> my hair, oh, I need to give it a good old trim. So happy, like, oh, I love this for me. <laughs> it's always the same. Oh, I just locked myself out. <laughs> so, when I went out, oh my god, you can't see me. One sec, oh my god, that's bright. Oh my god, I was ready to jump through the bloody window. All the house lights are off. Oh my god, so I managed to lock myself out because there's two different locks. I didn't take my keys out because I was just like, oh, it's all right, no worries. Shut the door. And I've been sat out there for 20 minutes waiting to get back in. I even considered climbing through the, um, 
the window, but I didn't. I'm gonna get on, I'm gonna get into my cozies. Look, I've even got a dressing gown. Oh my God, this is just perfect. So tonight's Sky Cinema movie is called Save the Cinema. It looks so cozy, looks so heartwarming. So yeah, make sure to check out the trailer if you haven't already seen the film yet, because it's been out for a couple of weeks now, I think. It looks like it just fits in with this whole aesthetic and I didn't even plan it. So this is just one of the many more original Sky Cinema movies that are coming out this year. Not to mention there's one original film coming out every week. So yeah, if you have Sky, oh my god, you've got to upgrade to Sky Cinema. And obviously that will include that one original film every week. Not to mention all the massive blockbusters that are already out and which are coming out like A Quiet Place 2. We've got Matrix Resurrections. Also Dune, which has Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya. Chef's kiss. So I'm gonna crack on with dinner now. Obviously we're gonna have fajitas tonight. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit play and I'm gonna watch the movie whilst I'm cooking, having a glass of red wine. Oh my God, you can't get better than that. Oh Jesus. Hallelujah. animal sounds so guys i've just finished up watching save the cinema on sky cinema oh my god it was so so lovely i definitely recommend you checking it out it was so wholesome it was so warm it was so fuzzy gave me all the amazing feels that i needed from like a cozy little lodge holiday so it's a true story which is amazing i love a true story and it's about like a tight-knit community coming together to save a cinema that's going to be knocked down the leading lady is a hairdresser played by samantha morton and tom felton's in it like i said um, oh my god, it's set in the 90s. The characters are so endearing, um, especially the mayor. He's an interesting character. Um, but no, I loved it. It's the perfect sort of like, I call this like, I would call this like my Friday night or s especially Sunday night um, evening, like Sunday night film because of how cozy it made me feel. Did I mention it was set in Wales? It was set in Wales and that makes me want to go back to Cardiff and Wales. Because as you know, I went to, I did a solo trip in Cardiff not so long ago and obviously the accent is absolutely out of this world it's just a genuinely nice warm fuzzy film um just to relax to in front of the fire and i want to say thank you to sky cinema for working with me on this part of the video it means the world honestly you'll let, you'll never understand how much it means to me but yeah make sure to check it out guys um it was such a beautiful film So guys, these are the fajitas. This is the gluten-free uh, wraps and everything else. There's like a whole loaf of bread in the kitchen. These amenities, like you just don't ask for this. Like, I kind of want to be an Airbnb host. I'll tell you who needs to be an Airbnb host. Starts with Z, ends in E. I've never said, I've like, I've stayed in some really nice hotels. I'm not trying to be like a arsehole or whatever. I have stayed in some really nice hotels and I swear to God, like some of the luxuries that I've got in this ca lo log cabin, I ain't got there, like everything you need. There's a dishwasher here. Plates, cups, guest book. Oh, I'm gonna write such a nice message in the guest book. You got all your teas, like look. Lemon, ginger and hun. Hello? Got Scrabble over there, got Jenga. Also, if you walk past it, oh, there's a little night light. How cute. Let's go make it cozy in here. Scary wardrobe. It's not a um, conjuring wardrobe. We just want to make sure. Oh, bloody hell. Hello. Just want to make sure because conjuring. Oh, look. Little love heart. Ironing board. You can do your ironing. Oh, hair dryer. Bloody hell. Laundry basket. It's my clothes. <laughs> Let's make it a little bit cozier in here. Oh, it's touch screen, of course it is. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh, this is this should be illegal. This is so comfortable and the high ceilings. I love it. Right. I don't know what I'm gonna watch now, but I'm just so excited. <laughs>
Good morning guys, look what I've just found, Rufflin's Barn Apple Juice. It cannot get more countryside than that, I had the best sleep as well. Sometimes they're a little bit too cold to put on my eyes straight away from the freezer, so I leave them out to defrost a little bit because I don't want to burn my under eyes. So I'm going to make myself a little tea this morning. Oh my god, look at that view. Good morning. So honestly, that's what duty free. Still listening to Life of Beach. I always seem to like. <clears throat> I always seem to get like an obsession when I go away. Like there's always something about the the, the solo travels that I get obsessed with. That I, every time I listen to it, I watch it. Even if it's a song or a movie or a TV show, I just get obsessed. Like when I was in Cardiff, there was a song that I just kept on playing over and over again. It made me so happy. And then all my stories were based around that song. What song was it called? One sec. I don't know, I just, I have these things that I like to associate my times with, like a little bit like how people associate their times with smell, which I obviously do as well, because I'm a big smelly. I feel like the heating came on during the middle of the night and I do not do well with like central heating. I like it to be cold. I just feel like I get like the sniffles or I get quite puffy. But this is the song, Antibodies, LP, Giobi Remix by Ten Snake and Cara Melon. Splash of milk. Oh look, Julie. Put the bloody semi skimmed in. And these little jams. Am I going to have toast? Maybe. It'd be rude not to. Cheers. Morning. Love ya. It's going to be too hot. Don't know why I went to drink now. Right, guys. I'm going to. Um, can you see me? Probably not. I'm going to. Write a little message in the guest book. Also, thanks David for coming out and um, letting me back in because I let myself out. <laughs> so cute. Oh, fuck. It's always the same. This is so nice. So I think this is the uh, Lidl collection, hotel collection, uh, number two, Blackberry and Bay. Oh my God, I keep getting whiffs of it and it is incredible. So I'm definitely gonna stop off at Lidl and um, pick up some of these because, oh my God, I didn't really, I've never actually smelt them out and about, but yeah, they smell incredible. Holy crap. Oh my god, guys, it's time to say goodbye. Oh. <laughs> guys, it's time for me to say goodbye to the most gorgeous lodge in the world. Oh my god. I'm gonna miss you so much. I cannot wait to come back. I will hopefully bring back the love of my life. If not, more solo trips. Oi. Oi, we don't need no men. We don't need no women. Guys, we don't need anyone to make us feel whole. We've got ourselves. That's the best thing that we have in the life, in our lives. Um, yeah. Oh my God. Like I said, I always do these videos for me, my mental health, and I also do it for you. I know for a fact these videos are helping you, so as long as you continue to love them, and get inspired by them, oh, by golly, am I gonna still be making them for you. Um, thanks again, Julie and David. Love ya. Time to go. Back to the big smoke. Back to noisy, noisy London. But I would never change it. But do I want to get my own little cottage in the countryside one day? <laughs> I mean... Of course. Bye. I'm actually not going to even pretend to do that just in case I lock myself out again and that's going to be really, really awkward. Okay. <laughs> Homeward stretch now, guys. I'm halfway into my journey. Um, oh my God. Can't stop thinking about it. I just had the most perfect evening. 
um, just what I needed. I feel like, well, I didn't need it. I didn't need a, a little um, countryside retreat. I'm very lucky that I could just pack up and just do that. I'm very aware of that. Um, but I just, I, I don't know. Like January, I feel like it's the perfect time if you get a chance just to go away, even if it's at a weekend. I can feel like the heat, like having the radiators on, which I never do. If every single time someone walks into my flat, if the candles ain't on, someone's getting frostbit because my flat, that's how I like it. I love cold and then making myself warm with like blankets and everything and socks. I just can't be in a, a warm, hot atmosphere. So I feel like it's given me like a blocked up nose. Obviously it's fine, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's so funny. Anyway guys, I'm gonna end this video here. I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I wanna do more as always. I love you guys so much. Take care, have the best week, best weekend, whatever you're doing. I love you so much. Take care, love you. See you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>